Well, hello everyone. I'm uh, Kieran Thomas. I'm a product manager at Microsoft Teams. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the company communicator app template and we'll do a little walkthrough of what the UI looks like. And uh, yeah, hopefully um, show you the first of many more app templates to come. So before we jump into the demo itself, a little um, overview and reminder of what app templates are. So the app templates, you can think of them as packaged apps that are open source, available on GitHub. They're uh, uh, ready to use uh, with, and you can deploy them uh, with minimal configuration, almost like ready to go. So they have a lot of the extensibility points and how to use the Teams platform examples built in. So you can learn a lot about how uh, the Teams platform works and they're uh, meant to be easy to deploy. And they're also built to, to meet our team's engineering standards. And uh, you know, if you look at the graph on the right, uh, you can see where we kind of position our app templates there. And not uh, kind of in the middle of the ability to customize and time to realize. Like uh, they, they're pre-baked and ready to go, but they're also customizable. You can change the branding. You can change the name. You can add more features, to whatever you like. But at the same time, uh, they're not, uh, you, know, you host and you deploy it yourself. And just to summarize, like the key benefits of this are, this is ready to go uh, code. You have to do minimal configuration to be able to get it to work. And you can add your own uh, colors or names to this app and package this in your own and deploy it within your Teams app uh, store. And then they're also built with privacy and security in mind. So it, uh, you control the data, you control um, the app and how it changes and how it's maintained. And over time, it's not as much uh, manual inter intervention required because it's ready to go. So now jumping into the app template that we'll be talking about today, it's called the company communicator. And this, the, you know, the intent of this app template is to help communicate with uh, different uh, communities or teams within your team's organization. So, uh, the most common use case that we hear our customers talk about is to use it uh, to help with Teams adoption or to give you know, ideas on how to best use Teams. But you can do it for any kind of company announcements. You can talk about uh, learning or developing any ideas. Like that. So the idea is you can uh, compose a message just like you would uh, like composing an email, figure out who you're going to send to, select those. We'll show, walk you through some of the options. And then you can send it either as a chat or you can post it to a, a Teams message, or you can send it to the entire uh, Teams user base. And with that, let's jump right in. Here's the Teams environment opened up on my browser. And we're in, uh, let's pretend that we're uh, the IT communications team within the Contoso company. And um, uh, I've already installed the app as a tab into a team of folks that I have I work with. So let's pretend that this team called Contoso IT Admins has all the different folks in here that would be involved with creating these messages and sending them out. And I'm also part of other teams myself. And as you can see, the you know the company has pinned the app on the uh, left navigation bar. And this is something that you can set with the app policies. You don't have to pin this. This is an optional thing. If you want to pre-install it for all your users, you can do that. Otherwise, you can also set it so that uh, your users go and install it from the uh, app store, so from your company app store. And so let's uh, jump right in. And because I'm an author, I want to you know, create a new message that I'm going to send. And today, I've decided I want to help uh, users in my tenant uh, with the Teams tips and tricks. So I'm going to call it Teams tips and tricks. And I have the ability to add a header image. So I'm going to paste in a nice header image of Microsoft Teams to kind of make, make clear what it's going to be about. And here's this is the body of the message. So you can add in whatever you'd like. So in this case, I'm going to say, here are some tips and tricks on how to use Teams. And let's say I have like a bulleted list of bunch of stuff. And I have the ability to kind of sign off. And let's say I am the Contoso IT team. So I'll just leave that there. And have the ability to add a button 
at the end to learn more about this. So this is the button title. And let's say I have found you know, either an internal site or I've just found this external site that has some cool tips. So this is my message, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and this is the cool part here. I have three different options I can choose to send it to. So I can either send it to a particular, I could post it to a channel of a particular team. So now I have all the options of teams that I can send it to. And these teams that you see right here uh, are available because they've installed the company communicator app within their team. So if you install it within your team, you can uh, use this to send to them. So let's say I'm sending this to new employees in the organization. Uh, instead, if I, we're not going to go through it now, but you can also send it uh, as a one on one chat in the same group instead of posting it to a channel, or you can also send it to everyone in uh, the entire uh, your organization. So it'll send it as a chat to everyone in there. So now I save it as a draft, looks good. And then before I send it, if I want to preview this, I can also do that. So I can go to this preview option on the, under my draft messages. And if I click that, it'll send it and post it to this uh, channel itself. So if I go in here, you can see it got posted. This is what it's going to look like for my users. Uh, let's say it, I, I decide it looks good. I go back. Now I'm ready to send it. Before I send it, if I want to edit again, I can do that. If I have a draft, I can duplicate it and it'll create a copy just like that. But now let's pretend we're ready to send. So I'm going to send it to all the new employees and hit the send button. And once it starts, you can see the status of that, how many successful sends there were, how many failures there were, and if there's anything that's being throttled and it'll take time, you'd see those too. And it's happening as we speak right now. Let's uh, refresh and make sure it's sent out. It's still happening, but yeah, in the meantime, let me also talk about like how you can get the app for your customers. So as a, a customer, it'll probably want to install it and make it available. It'll show up in your, uh, in a company app store right here. And they, you know, your users can click it and add it themselves if you haven't already pre-installed it. But let's now go back and check it. Okay, it looks good. It's sent out. Let's now switch over to say one of the new employees in the company. And you can see now this new employee, let's say it's Chris Green, uh, it's already been posted uh, to their general channel. So similarly, let's just try another option where we send it directly to this user. So I'm just gonna go back, I have this pre-made drafted. What I'm gonna do is instead of sending it as a channel post, I'm gonna send it specifically to everyone as a one-on-one -one -one chat. So I'm gonna select the same team but I'm gonna select the chat option and let's say save it as draft. And I'm gonna click the send button here. Everything looks good. And let me switch over to, and I can, as you can see now, this has been posted by the company communicator app as the chat. I, I can either go into the app itself to see the message, it's get, gotten posted here, or I can see it in my chat window too as the one-on-one -on -one chat. So you can see there's two different ways to send it and you can also, uh, you can choose to send it to a specific team or to uh, as a chat to the folks in that team, or you can also send it to the entire teams group. So that hopefully gives you an idea. And uh, as you can see, there's different ways of, um, uh, you can have different authors within your team to help you send these messages. You can draft them, compile them and so on. And now let's switch back, oh yeah, let me also go into the GitHub repository of where this app is. So this is where it is. I'll post a link to where you can find this into the chat after I'm done here. But I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the app template itself and uh, some information about that. So you can see in GitHub, we have on the homepage with some basic information on how to get started, the whole code base is here so you can clone it, get started on it. And we have a set of detailed documentation available in the wiki section of the app template. Uh, there is uh, different um, categories of documentation here, including the cost estimate and how to deploy it. Let's jump into that. Uh, it talks about what the, your prereqs are, what you want to get set up before you go down 
and then uh, go through it step by step. So first, you'll go through registering your application, and then we'll jump to. And then we have this ARM template, which you can use to do one-click deploy. So if you have your Azure subscription set up, it'll help you deploy it. And then you set up the authentication for the app. Finally, you create the Teams packages. So you create two packages: one for the authors, which you'll install into the author team, and then the other, which will make up available for your entire organization. And then you're ready to go. Let me also go back here and show you this page, which I like if you're curious about how this app was built and what the components are. We have the solution overview page that you can take a look. It gives you a detailed overview and the architecture diagram of what the different components are. So if you have ideas on customizing it, changing it, adding new features to it, feel free to take a look at this. And also wanted to share uh, an update that I'll share at the end of the art, my demo on, on this uh, thing. So now switching back here. So that was the end of the demo. So really, if you have any other questions, let me know. But I wanted to cover some of the frequently asked questions. So the security of this app, you might be wondering uh, how that works. It's, you know, we make sure to build it to ensure that it meets uh, basic security and privacy standards. And like I showed you, the there's a one-click deployment available. So anyone within your org, it doesn't have to be a technical person, can, as long as you have the right permissions for your um, office admin and the Azure subscription, you can deploy the app. And the cost for these apps um, depends on the type of app, but typically they are deployed on Azure, and so they'll have some Azure consumption charges, but we also have some Power Apps-based apps, which uh, are typically built with uh, uh, no cost um, uh, basic power app uh, licenses. So you won't have to pay for anything like that. And that's the end of the demo. Two updates I want to share. We're actually uh, getting ready to add some features to the company communicator to be able to send it to dis contact groups. Uh, so that's coming out soon. And another ask of you if you have ideas or uh, for new app templates and you're super excited about wanting to build it or and you want to uh, you know talk to me about it please uh, reach out to me on linkedin let's uh, chat about that i'd love to hear your ideas and uh, yeah beyond that thank you for listening that's my demo thank you kieran a uh, really useful demo i think being able to have targeted communications in organizations is, is, is important and, and definitely needed and, and with this uh, app uh, needs it becomes easier and folks can extend it and can make it their own uh, because it's all open source so which is really great mm -hmm.